Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Is Grace Tutor, and what I do, I solve technical drop problems and also provide very important information that you can make use of for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations. And if you're a technical drawing student, I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Put on notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. And very important, you need to practice this subject. This is a practical subject. You need to practice it so that you can master it and you'll be able to solve any problem that comes your way when it comes to technical drawing. And right now, this is the problem that I want to work on. And uh, let me read the question so that we know what we want to do before I begin to uh, explain uh, something about this diagram. Uh, the figure below shows the elevation of a truncated hexagonal pyramid. Draw question A, the given view. Question B, auxiliary plan in the direction of ROP. Auxiliary plan in the direction of ROP. And this is the diagram. This is the a, this is a truncated hexagonal uh, pyramid. And as we have here, the distance across corner for this pyramid is 60 millimeters. The height is 60 millimeters, and the distance of this point where the cotton plane touched this side from the base is 25 millimeters, and the cotton plane is inclined at an angle 45 degree. And then we have that the arrow, arrow P is at angle 45 degree to the horizontal. So let's look at how we are going to work this out. Now, the first thing to do is for you to draw. A vertical center line so you draw a vertical center line okay so we draw a vertical center line okay then we draw a horizontal center line Okay, then we take a measurement of 60 millimeters on our ruler with our compass. 60 millimeters on our ruler with the compass. Sorry, 30 millimeters because the distance of our cross corner is 60. So half of 60 is 30. So we take 30 millimeters on our ruler and we draw a circle. So we draw a circle like this. Okay, so then. With this radius that we use to draw the circle, so you make an arc here, you make an arc here, so you put it at this point, so you make an arc here, you make an arc here. What you want to do with this is that we want to we want to uh, produce an hexagon. So I'm going to join this point together. So join this point together, these two points, and I will join these two points together. Then I will join these two points together. Now we join this together. We also join this together. Then I will join this together. All right, so the hexagon is out. So the next thing I'm going to do is that. So I'm going to number this point. So this is point one, this is point two, this is point three, this is point four, this is point five, this is point six. Then I will connect. Then I will connect three and six together. So with this line, and I will also connect two and five together like this so then i will move the t square up a bit draw horizontal line like this and on this horizontal on this line i will take 60 millimeters so from here so this is 60 millimeters here all right so then before i continue with that so i will draw a vertical line from this point so vertical line so stopping here and then from this point, I will draw a vertical line. And from here also, I will draw a vertical line. And from this point for here, I will draw a vertical line. 
all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to connect this point with where we have that 60 so i'll connect it together like this and also i will connect this together then i will connect this together now also connect this together okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to take a measurement of 25 millimeters from the base here 25 millimeters from the base so this is 25 then i'm going to draw locate it on this side then i will take my 45 degree set square so set it at this point like this and I will draw the cotton plane. So this is the cotton plane. All right, so we have the cotton plane drawn on the elevation. So I need to make this line and to make it thick from year to year. Okay, so I'll make this a thick line from here down. And this is also a thick line. So this is also a thick line. Okay, so the base also, I need to make it a thick line. All right, so we have drawn the given view and also the plan. So the next thing that we are going to do is that this cutting plane, it cut this off. So when we remove this part, we are going to see a rough surface around there so that will be in the plan so what we need to do is to project so but i'm going to number this for so this is one prime so this is two prime comma six prime and this is three prime comma five prime and this is four prime okay so for me to draw the complete plan so i'm going to draw a vertical line from this point one so this is line one so from this point i will draw a vertical line into the plan so draw a vertical line down here okay i have to take it easy so i will draw a vertical line down and also from this point i will draw a vertical line down so also from this point i also have drawn a vertical line down here okay so from this point i will draw a vertical line down here so this line that we drew from one down here it touched line one at this point though i've drawn something like this before and this line that we drew from here this is two six so it touched six at this point and touched two at this point and then for three and five so it touched five at this point and it touched three at this point i've not done that well so I need to project this line down to line 3. So this is it. Okay. So it touches line 3 at this point and it touches 4 at this point. So I need to join this together. So for me to have a complete plan. So this will be joined together with this. So I'll join this together with this. So this will be joined together with this. And I will join this point together with this and also so this point will be joined together with this and this point will be joined together with this so i have this so because it's a rough surface so i have to make sure i show it as a rough surface so i'm going to arch this surface so this is this will show the roughness of the surface Right, so this is the complete plan so the next that we are going to do is to draw the auxiliary uh, plan in the direction of rop as we have in the question and we know that rop is inclined at an angle 45 degree to the horizontal so what i need to do is this so i need to draw lines at 45 degree so from each of these points so i will draw this line like this so i will also draw from this point like this so i will draw from here from this point so i'll draw it in this direction and i'll also draw a line from here 
in this direction down here. So then I will draw a perpendicular line to these lines. So lines at angle 45 degree of width uh, that are perpendicular to these lines at 90 degrees. So I draw this line like this. So now, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I need to I need to draw a horizontal line from this point and also from this point up I will draw a horizontal line. So then I will draw a vertical line here. So draw a vertical line here like this. Okay, so with this vertical line that I've drawn, so this is 0.4 here. So this is 1,4 and this is uh, 5,6 and this is 2,3. So as you can see here in the labeling, so what I'm going to do now is that I will take my compass and put it at this point. So I just need one of them. So I put at this point. So in this, in what we have done here, in what we have done here, so in what we have done here, this is point 0.4. So this point here is point 0.4. Now I'm drawing there. So this is point 0.4 and this is point 0.1. So this point is point 0.1. So what we want to do here is to produce an hexagon here. An hexagon as the base of this hexagonal pyramid in the auxiliary plan. So that's what we are trying to do here. Then I need to locate other points. I need to locate, locate other points. So what I just need to do is to take my compass and take a distance. Did I take four for one four to five six or one four to two three? Just, just take one of them. So if I follow this line, this is line three five. So at this point, I put at the center here and I make an arc here. And also I will make an arc here like this. So the same thing for two six. I make an arc here. And I make an arc here. So this is complete now. So this is 0.2. So this is 3. So this is 5. And this is 6 here. So I will join this point together. So join this point together. So this together with this. So I will join this together with this. And I will join this together with this. So I join this together and then so this will be hidden this will be hidden from me so I have to draw this with short dashes line like this also I need to this will also be hidden from me so I need to join this together with short dashes line because it is hidden from me all right, so we have all this in place. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we have produced the base. Next thing that we are going to do is to produce, uh, is to produce the, to produce this uh, point. So this point that we have here, because we are also going to see the roughness of this surface, of this surface in, in the auxiliary plan also. So what we need to do is to project the, project lines at 45 degree. At 45 degree, we need to project lines at 45 degree. So from this point, I will draw a line with my 45 degree cell square. Like this. And also from this point, I will do the same thing. So draw a line at angle 45 degree. And also from this point, I will draw a line at 45 degree. And the last point is this. I will draw a line at 45 degree and I also need to draw from the apex of the pyramid so which is this point so I will draw from here okay so this is the apex of the pyramid now so this is the apex of the pyramid this is the apex of the pyramid so the next thing that I'm going to do is to join each of these points join each of these points to this point here so I need to join so so I take this. So take this like this, and also, so I join this together with this. So I also join this together to this point, and this point also will be joined together with the apex. So the next thing that we are going to do is to bring out the shape of the roughness 
of this surface in the auxiliary plan so if i follow this line this is point four here this is point this is line four so if i come here so this is line four they intersect at this point they intersect here then this point we have what we have three and five so if i follow this line here so then follow this line so line five intersect with this line at this point and line three intersect with it at this point here so we are taking note of those points then the next is two six so following this line like this so line six intersect this line at this point and line two intersect this line at this point so the last one is one so if i follow this line here so this is point one here so i believe this is clear so what we need to do now is to join this point together to bring out the roughness in the auxiliary plan so here is it All right, so then the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, bring out the roughness of the surface. So I'm not going to use my uh, 45 degrees cell square. So I need to use the 60 degree side of my cell square. So this is it. Alright, so this is the auxiliary plan as we are asked to uh, produce the auxiliary plan. So we drew, we drew the front elevation that is giving view to so the plan and the auxiliary plan, but we are not done. So I need to make this line thick lines. So this line is a thick line. This line is also a thick line. So this line is a thick line. This line is a thick line. And this line is a thick line, so from here to here. So this is the auxiliary plan as we are asked to produce this. So thank you for thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.